Hey, morning guys. Uh, we're back out here. We're gonna continue on on the engine build. It's been about a week since we've uh, last worked on it. So we're gonna try to get it, hopefully get it set in the truck today. We get it finished and get it put together. All right, let's get started. Uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna rotate it. Alright guys, we got oil pan on, went ahead and spun the oil filter on, so I'm going to prime the engine here in a little while, so the oil filter's on, the uh, knock sensors, motor mounts, everything done on the bottom here, so uh, we can get it spun back over, right side up, and uh, work on the top side. All right. Okay, we got the intake manifold tightened down. Got the ejector rail. All the ejectors got all new seals put on them. Got that bolted on. Now we're gonna put the valve covers on. And then we'll just keep going. Get the right side. All right, got the balancer on. Um, it's a it's as complete as I'm going to make it uh i'm not going to put the plantum on yet it's so big and bulky it's in the way when you're trying to get this wiring put on back here get to your fuel line hookup uh with if you had the plantum on the top part of the intake you couldn't even get to this stuff so i'll do that in the car or in the truck uh so that's it there's nothing else going to go on it everything else i'll do when it's in there when it's sitting down in the hole so Flywheel on.
Okay, um, got everything back on. All the stuff, all the wiring, belts and hoses. Everything's hooked up. Um, getting ready to start it here pretty quick. Uh, got coolant filled, oil, everything. Have not started it yet. Need to get down off the lift so I can back it out. I don't want to be sucking fumes while it's running. Probably going to run it um, at least 35, 40 minutes. Let it get totally, let it get to full operating temperature. Start seating in the rings because this will be the first time it's been run. So definitely want to get it heated up so the rings will start seating in. So I need to get the front tires put back on it, get it down off the lift so I can back it out and um, get it running. So uh, let's, let's get that done. We'll let it run for at least 45 minutes or so. Get it backed out before it starts getting fumed up in here. The outside door can't see crap. Hold that around for about 45 minutes or so. Let it get the full operating temperature. Get the coolant topped off. It's been about 35 minutes. He's running smooth, quiet. that's gonna wrap this up truck with a new engine that's awesome okay thanks for watching this engine build video I uh, appreciate it and uh, that's wrap we'll see you out on the trail Although the real test would be when I um, get the trailer hooked onto it, get out on the highway. I should be able to really see what's going on then with it. Maybe. Should be able to tell a little difference then, hopefully. Get going here. About 35. See it. Step down on it. That's 65 
right there. Not too bad. Not too bad. I can't tell that much. Just a little short little run, but oh well. That's going to do it. Thanks again for watching, and uh, over and out.